Hi, good morning everybody. This is Andrew and Mike coming to you here live from Charles Mill Marina. This is our spring open house boat show. Hope to see you out here. We're going to be doing this today, tomorrow, and then still again on Monday. Uh, so really this is our biggest event of the year for boat shows. We've got a boat uh, showroom here full of boats, so uh, we want to have you come out and have a look at it. If you are in the market for a new boat, we really recommend uh, that you come out and see us very, very soon. Inventories will be limited the further we get into spring and summer. So we're going to have a look today with Mike at the boats that we have here in the showroom. So Mike, we're going to start out with this boat right here. This is our StarCraft EX-22C. Tell me a little bit about so, this boat. Things I like about it, um, and there's a lot of things I do. Uh, it's 22 foot long, eight and a half wide, plenty of space for everyone. So it does seat up to 11 people. Um, the white and black color package is really, really sharp. Why don't you come on board and take a look at a couple things on board. We make sure it's going to come to stuff. So, one thing that we're seeing on many of our StarCraft models is a power of Emmy, which is really just as simple as pushing a button to open your top now. So that's a really nice feature. Another feature of this boat that I really like is the sunbed on the back. So if someone wants to catch a little bit of suntan here on the back while other people want to have some shade, it's a great option. And, and it also has some storage underneath it, so really nice for that as well. Um, another piece of this boat that I do like is it's very spacious right here in the back on the way to the ladder. So if you have coolers, maybe you have a spot where you want your dog to have a space to lay. Great option right here in that back corner, kind of this traditional L layout that we've seen in the pond in tune industry for so long. And you know, as I look at a StarCraft and these vinyl floors, that's something we've gone to more and more on really all of these boats. And the vinyl floor on these boats really helps repel that mold, that mildew. It's really gonna help just keep this boat cleaner. If you have a spill, any kind of accident on the boat, easy to wash it off, a lot easier to maintain that old carpet. So uh, something uh, that we see a lot more of here throughout the industry. Yeah, easy and clean boating for years to come. We know this is holding up over the test of time. We're starting to see really positive results over the seven, eight years this has been on the market. We love what it looks like. We like how it feels. And the ease of clean couldn't be any easier. That's right. Okay, let's go have a look at this boat right here. It's got another StarCraft. And I see the fishing poles on this already. And this looks like a boat that's really going to appeal to fishermen. So tell me all about this one. So another 22-footer. It's made by Sun Chaser. This is their Geneva line, which is a great mid-line boat, uh, affordable, well put together. And it's made for that person who really loves to fish, but wants the stability of a pontoon rather than a fishing boat. So it gives you some of that space you need, uh, gives you plenty of places to fish. Uh, there's a ton to like about this. So we're definitely going to get on and take a look at this. So I can just imagine myself out on the lake right now, throwing out the line, you know, maybe have a cooler down here, tons of space on this. This is a really nice setup up here in front and uh, just, again, very spacious. Right, so if again, you're up here, you're up front, let's say you're the primary fisherman up front, this is set up to put a trolling motor on, so you'll have the option foot control trolling motor, so if you're going to troll, fish, get into all those tight spots you want to fish, but you can do it with a pontoon boat rather than a fishing boat, so it's really, really beneficial. That's great. And, and you know, just within arm's reach here, I've got one, two, three, four cup holders. So, Five, uh, six over here. I'm not going to be thirsty all day. You know, no, this not is going to be a really nice setup out here. And, look, and another cool feature here behind you, you do have the live well, but you know, maybe you're not catching as many fish. This is a dual live well tank. This works great as a cooler to keep your drinks cold or keep your fish ready to go. So great options there. Just don't mix your drinks and your fish. That's a public service announcement. Drinks and fish do not go into the same cooler. Exactly right. So let's come back here to the dash a little bit here. Um, we do have tilt steering, which makes it comfortable for everyone. Um, seat does move back and forth as well. And we have a Lowrance hook fish finder on it. So if you're a serious fisherman, you don't want to just uh, drive all over the lake looking for the fish. Use the resources at your advantage to make sure that that gets done. Now, I notice on this boat we've got a 13 person capacity tag, so that's a ton of people that you can fit on this boat. A huge amount. It, most definitely. Well, I'm not going to suggest you get 13 on this boat. Eight or nine, really comfortable. And if you're going to fish, maybe you, five or six of your good friends, where everyone can get a line in. Really strong options. That's great. Um, definitely something really cool here because most people who do pontoon do put it at a dock somewhere. We, 
we know the benefits of docking. We've talked about that many times. So if you are going to dock your boat, this does have rod lockers and lockable storage here. So if you're looking for a place to keep your fishing pole safe while you're off the lake, that's a really, really strong option right there. That's really great. And I see they just shoot right up through there. And again, locks up really easy. Put that in there and then your poles are in there nice and safe. You don't have to worry about it. That's right. And finally, we talked about the other live well tank, bait well tank. It is here on the back again. Again, lots of cup holders back here for anyone who's fishing back here. We do have a setup here for trolling if someone is going to troll. We got um, six rod holders that we can get out on the lake with. That's great. Yeah, I can already imagine how many fish you catch on this boat. Lots of fish. If you're going to come down here in Charles Mill, crappie season's getting real close. Um, we have lots of bait in ready to go. So anyone who's looking to go fishing down here, we'll hang a 9-9 on the back locally or whatever motor someone's looking for, and we'll take this out. Yeah, we'll slam. great setup. Okay, let's keep moving here. Let's go look at our uh, set of deck boats that we have here in stock. All right, so, you'll see some video on deck boats with us coming soon, you know? These deck boats today, well, you can't buy either of these two that we have here because they are both sold. We do have more coming soon, but we can definitely talk about how awesome these products are. Yeah, and, and they look great, right? And I, I just love the look of these boats. They are really clean. They, they don't look like your old deck boats where they're just these big, wide old things. This is a really sleek, well-built look. Right. The color pattern, it's very sporty. Uh, this thing's going to get up, get on plane. It's going to pull a tube wonderfully. You're going to be able to go quick. And there's a lot of space inside for everyone to spread out. We have two more of these coming in late June that people can reserve now. We have one coming in with the black and a charcoal gray here. We have another one coming with a blue with a tan interior. So they're gonna be extremely sharp boats. And they are a boat motor and a trailer for right around $41,000, which is a great, great buy um, for, yeah. for anyone looking for a product similar to this. These trailer very easily as well. And even probably a little easier to put a pontoon does. That's it. So you're telling me again, easy to trailer or bang for your buck, a little more space, maybe with a pontoon boat than with a deck boat. Maybe a little more customization on a tri-tune or a pontoon. These deck boats are awesome. Right, they're, they're, they're lots of fun. We have a lot of places that make sense to use these locally. You're gonna be able to zip around and have a really great time with the family, whether it's tubing or just uh, zip yourself around having fun. Okay. Great option for us. Let's go then, let's look at this deck boat here. I wanna show you one of the great features I love about this boat myself. And it's something you might not see on a whole lot of pontoon boats, but it's something we've added to all the deck boats that we have in here. So come on up and If I get down here and I'll show you all of this matting down here, it's this really soft plush, just it's a really nice surface where you, if you're out here barefoot, it's not gonna burn your feet. It's really gonna be a nice, comfortable sit. But what you've got are these buttons. So this all pulls up. So if you would have some, some kind of spill, anything, whatever on here, these all pull up just like the mats in your car or your truck and they can wash off really, really easily. And then they just snap right back down in. So really, really nice option on there. Uh, Mike, tell me a little bit on the back here, just how this kind of all lays out and all the storage that we have underneath these seats. Yes, yeah, so we have storage under every seat. So we do have a nice little ski tow pylon here for people looking to get up ski tube. What I like is how spacious this fiberglass boat is. So this has a capacity tag of 12. And while I never suggest filling a boat up to the capacity tag except on special occasion because of comfort, you can very easily fit 10 people on this boat comfortably so that everyone can have a little bit of space and enjoy their day out on the lake. Well, what's really nice about this is I've got a really clear sight line as a captain. So there's not really anything right here in front of me. I'm sitting up very high. I can see all the way around me and that's a really nice thing. Right, and even on top of that, if someone's a little shorter than you, you're a pretty tall fellow, there is a booster there to even get you up a little higher so everyone can see when they're driving. Um, Safety is a priority on these because you are gonna go pretty quick across the lake. That's right. Now, what's going on right down here? So what we have here is some in-floor storage. So obviously you're gonna be uh, skiing and tubing on these. You can fit your ski, your tow ropes, your pool noodles, anything that makes your day better on the lake, um, they're right in here for you. That's a really nice option. You don't have it just cluttering up the deck, right? It's down there, it's underneath, it's out of sight, out of mind. That's, that is exactly it. Uh, so lots of space there. We have additional storage here underneath. And another kind of cool feature on this one, a uh, couple of here, there's a small sink here that, uh, let's say you're going a little too fast, you need to dump out a beverage. 
This thing goes right out to the outside, keeps your boat clean on, on the inside at all times. Yeah, that's a really nice little feature on there. Okay, so this is a great deck boat. We've got these. What do you mention? You know, when are we going to have more of these? Inside? So these deck boats, we have two more of these coming in about two weeks. So we are going to have two of these available for sale in the next couple of weeks. If someone really likes the look of them, I suggest you come down and get on this one today, kind of look at it, see what you like. And we can talk about the ones that are coming in soon because they'll be here with the 150, ski tow bar, these cool mats in the front here, a um, couple different other options that are coming on the next ones, but uh, beautiful boats on their way. That's right. Yeah, we're really excited about getting those in. So if you are interested, give us a call. Uh, now let's go look here at our uh, Tritune here from Sun Chaser. This is a great boat. This might be my favorite boat right now in the showroom. And uh, I think Mike's gonna show you a little bit more why. Yeah, so this is Sun Chaser's, uh, it's a 23 foot Eclipse Tritune model with a lot of different features that we really like. And the first feature here that's gonna stick out to me, the ski tow bar on the back. It is super, super sturdy. That's not going anywhere. No, it has a max weight of 500 pounds. So you can fit two, three people on the tube on the back and have no issue using this. This is solid. We also have a dual gate system where, you know, if someone wants to come off the back, jump in to the lake, have a little fun, ladder on the other side, lots and lots of things to love. So if we go- And Mike, really quick, before we move on from the gates, I've seen other boats where it's an open back or maybe it's a smaller chain, something along there. And I, I, I don't know, what are your thoughts on that? So we are gonna see one with an open back here in a minute from Quest that we, I really like, but they're not great for folks with small children who right. can kind of get out through the back. So you need to know your family, you need to know what your group's gonna look like before you kind of purchase a boat like this. This is a boat that is gonna be safe for boaters one to a hundred. That's right. Yeah, and, and really with this, whether it's small kids or small pets, what you have, this is a very secure gate system. There's really no way that anybody's gonna get beyond this. A lot of boats you might see out there now do have those open backs, which can be a nice design, but just keep that in mind when you're buying is make sure you've got something that'll actually contain people within your boat. Right, and if I were looking to have chains, I guess I'd look to go to an amusement park, not my boat. Now that's, that's right. That's one thing that I'll always say, secure, safe, but the gates, the chain system, not not a good look so yeah, that's right. much safer better look here sturdy safe and made for everyone that's right now these dual facing or uh, rear facing lounges these are really great i think this is something we've seen more and more of in years past and just something that's a really nice option for people when they're out on the boat especially if you're pulling people on a tube or if you've got skiers hey you can sit there in your own comfort and just watch people uh, and it's a great feeling people love looking back when they're on a boat so uh, it's a really nice option to have those uh, dual rear facing lounges. Yeah, and, and super nice feature there. And this furniture, ultra plush, really soft. And that doesn't even get to the captain seats yet, which are the nicest captain seats in our showroom right now. They're high back, reclining captain seat. And this one even has a platform built in to give the driver a little additional availability. So just, these are driver's captain seats for everyone. As you can see, these are big, plush, comfortable seats. Yeah, don't mind if I do. These are awesome. I think I could put these in my living room. This is uh, an awesome helm too. Again, just like that boat we were on, I feel like, again, I'm up, I'm elevated, and I notice here, I've got that elevated helm. So that's just another feature that sets this boat a little bit apart from maybe anything else that we have in the showroom today. It's just a little extra features on here really make this a boat that goes above and beyond. Right, and little things like the upgraded stereo system, the in-floor storage, really strong options, a changing room to here as well. So. This is everything someone could want for their day on the lake. That's it. Yeah, really great. And uh, not to mention the stereo system. So this is going to be really booming out there when you crank this thing up. Uh, everybody's going to hear you out on the lake. That it is. Um, next one we're going to show you is one of the open backs, but it is a tri-tune. It's about, oh, 21 foot, 10 inches from Quest. Yeah, let's which, have a look at it. Uh, we just got it into the showroom here in the past week. Yeah, this is an awesome boat too. And we've seen this more and more. If you're looking for a tri-tune boat that is more affordable, something that you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck, honestly, this is it right here. This is a 20-foot long boat. And Mike, tell us a little more about so it. So if this is a 2020 that we found from another dealer who had it sold, we were super excited to go get it. Uh, we drove all the way to Illinois to pick it up. So it does have a Suzuki 150 paired with it and a trailer for under $55,000. That's right. Really so a great value in this boat it's loaded with all the bells and whistles for that price. So why don't you come on board? Let me 
show you a couple of things even before you get on the board, such as the writing pad, because I'm going to go ahead and hit a couple of buttons and make sure this off. So it does have an exterior lighting package on the outside there with underwater light and a blue ice lighting package. But then once you step on board, it also has uh, a full interior lighting package with six lit speakers, lit cup holders all the way around. So this boat's going to glow at night. Yeah, no, it's a really great look, and uh, I, I can't wait to see this kind of boat out on the water. You know? Yeah, I, if, if I were looking for a boat today, this may be the one for me even. So I, I love what it offers. It does have reclining captain seats. Um, these spin here. Um, back here is one of my favorite features. I think that's the highlight back there, right? There's nothing else you'll see like this. Nope. So there are about four or five different ways you can do this seat. This is probably the starter, but this would probably be where we started, but never where I ended for the day. So all it does is we can do a nice flip here, bring it that way, and we have a front facing lounger recliner. It turns into a nice couch where someone can lay out catch some rays, grab a little rest. There's also, you know, charging port there for their phone while they hang out. That's just a, it's a really great feature and it's something that it's a great use of that space too because it is so versatile. It can be multiple different things at one time. And let's say more of an adult cruise, you can lay this down, it comes all the way down here, come back around here, flip this seat back up. And now we have a rear facing lounger where you can watch that person on the ski on the tube, um, see them having fun. We also have a ski tow bar that's not quite on here yet, but it is included with it as well. Yeah, that's really nice. So one of the even cooler features back here is when this person is on the back on the tubes, they do have two very large speakers back here. So your person who is on the tube, they're gonna be able to hear the music and have just as much fun. So they're big, they glow. This boat's gonna look beyond cool at night. It has a sound package that literally rattles the windows in our showroom. <laughs> so it is loud, people are gonna hear you. This is a boat that is designed for fun. And, and tell me about this, because we've got the Suzuki remote set up on this, and tell me what makes that a little bit different than maybe any other boat so, in the showroom. Yeah, this has a digital control setup, so your gauges are digital, and the throttle here is a little different. This is a digital throttle, so it's more responsive, and it doesn't take as much work shifting it. It's just real quick, real responsive. And like I said, the first boat, this is the first boat in our showroom that's been rigged up this way, and we're really excited for that. Yeah, that's a really cool feature and something that uh, I think we'll see more of in years to come. I think we're going to see a lot of it is that. Okay. Is that we'll top off this. Let's go look at one of our more affordable boats here in the showroom from Quest. And the next couple boats, actually, we're going to look at are from Quest. And Quest is a manufacturer that, uh, you know, we love their boats. They are the absolute kings of the small pontoon boat. They don't make the bigger pontoon boats. That's where we get Starcrafts and Sun Chasers. But nobody makes a better small boat than Quest. Uh, take us through this model here. So if someone's looking for a 16-footer, first and foremost, this is our last one that we're going to see through September. Uh, so if you are looking for a small pontoon, this one's a great option. It is a it's 16 foot, 10 inches, it's eight wide. You can fit uh, seven people on it, and there's a lot to like. This is their luxury series, so this is their high line, and there's just all kinds of good things about it. Um, first off, we've got the nice gray seating with accent panels in red, uh, piping in red. We have a four speaker system, and then we have a deluxe captain seat, a Bluetooth stereo system, similar to the one we saw in the last boat, in a uh, Garmin fish finder as well. That's it. And I'm always impressed with Quest, how they make their layout so efficient. There's no inch of this boat that's wasted. Everything here is perfectly maximized. No, no wasted space at all. We do have some uh, USB charging ports in it as well, which is kind of a cool little feature. But they know how to maximize their space for these super small boats. And like I said, this boat does fit seven people on it, and you can fit seven pretty darn comfortably on here. Yeah, that's really it. And this is a great boat for some of our friends on electric lakes. If you need an electric motor, it works really well, especially on these small boats. And we've got those in stock. We can always set you up with those as well. We are, as soon as someone gets them in, we do order them as quick as we can. If someone is going to get a new boat with an electric motor, they realistically do need to talk to me as soon as possible. Yep. So we can get those motors additionally ordered. Um, they're taking about three weeks to a month for us to get our hands on right now with the Minkota E-Drives. Yeah, so just keep that in mind if you're looking at an electric motor, make sure you contact us soon. That way we'll get you ready for summer.
Okay, let's go uh, look at some of the other quests we have here in the showroom. And I, I can tell a little bit of a difference here between these boats. Maybe a little more styling on this boat. Can you tell me what the difference is between the boat we looked at and this boat here? So while they're both 22s, this is our first of the new redesigned Quest 2022 models. Okay. So they've redone how they're doing their product. We're very impressed with it. I like almost everything they've done. We'll start with the new seating here on the front. They are using a really nice honeycomb pattern here. The blue piping here. This is called the Lanai Sport Fish. So this is a combo fish and cruise boat. So it's fishing here on the front and cruising style in the back. Yeah, so it's got a lot of versatility to it, right? You know, it it, it's, it's just a really well laid out boat. This is an 18 footer. It does have a capacity of seven. So not a ton of people are going to fit just due to the layout of the boat. But we have all new interior. We have this rear facing bimini on top, which we'll take some pictures of on the next boat to let you see it well. We have an all black railing package on all the new quests that are powder coated and really, really sharp. That's great. Now let's go ahead and look back here because I see that, that rear facing lounger again. And again, something that's just a really nice feature. They call this the Lanai bench. So this is great. Um, let's say if you're going to watch the kids or grandkids go swimming. It's a great place for an adult to sit right by a ladder so they can watch what the kids are doing on the back. Or if you really enjoy fishing off the back, this is a way to comfortably throw a line. That's it. So. Now, one thing I want to show here is on this ladder on the very back. Again, I'm not a small guy, but these ladders, they are absolutely as sturdy as you can imagine. Right. I can jump up and down on that all day. It's not going anywhere. This is through bolted through the deck. So again, this is just there to be built. It's built to last. So if I come up on there, I'm not really feeling that ladder wobble beneath me. It feels really, really good. So something to keep in mind is you might be looking at boats this weekend. Yeah, and if anyone's looking for an 18-foot fishing model, this is going to be our only 18-foot fishing model from now until at least September. So if you're looking for something in that setup, and definitely do that. We have Suzuki Motors in stock to pair. Okay. Moving down here, again, a little bit different color on this one, but uh, really sharp still in the same. Yeah, so what do we have here? This is our graphite and raspberry layout. It, this is a 18 footer that is tagged for nine nine people. It is the LT line, which is one step up above what you saw in the last boat. So this is um, even a little more plush than what the other one was. But we like everything it has to offer. So one thing I did I did mention before was the forward facing bunny here. So that is brand new this year from Quest. It's super easy to open. It faces forward. It's a little more sleek and clean design. So I really do like what it looks like. Yeah, it's a really great look. And one thing I know with Quest is these are eight foot wide boats. So they're not going to be quite as wide as you'd find in a Starcraft or a Sun Chaser. So you lose a little bit of deck, right? It's about half a yep. foot of deck and width, but that makes these boats a lot easier to trailer, right? So they're going to follow behind your vehicle just a little bit more. And that six inches can actually make a pretty big difference when you're trailering your boat. It definitely can. We have trailers in stock for these boats too. So if someone is looking for an easily trailerable boat, this is a real great option. We can put that boat right on the trailer and have it ready to go for folks. That's great. Um, parts of this boat that I really like, we do have the dual captain seat for the captain and first mate. So if it's just maybe two people a little more often on this boat, this is a great choice because you can sit beside each other, have a conversation. Four stroke motor technology is so quiet that um, you don't have to yell over each other. You can just sit quietly and have a conversation. I'm definitely that guy who I have my engine idling on a boat and I'll just question whether it's on. You know, it's so quiet back there when it's not running, and it's just, you have, you have to really make sure that uh, it's actually turned up. Right, and I don't want to embarrass myself here, but there's been more than one occasion where I've been on the lake, thought my motor was off, tried to turn it on, it was already on. That's how quiet these run. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So, so if you've never actually been on the four-stroke, it's an awesome experience to have a four-stroke motor on your boat. Right, and if someone hasn't been on one and just even wants to see one, We'll have some four-stroke demos in the lake fairly soon here at Charles Mill that they can come out and uh, take a ride with us and really see what they're all about. That's right. Okay, let's move on to the next boat here. This is the boat that glows. Really like this boat. So, again, very similar to the boat we're on, but there are some more bells and whistles on this boat that we'll uh, point out. So, we'll start out by taking a couple of switches here and lighting this guy up. So, this one does have the blue lights package on both the interior and the exterior. So we have a total glow packet on the outside. It has some underwater LEDs. So on the backside of the boat, it does light up even under the water. 
We have the, all the interior cup holders glow as well. And we do have some in. Um, we do have the USB ports here built right into the seats, so someone can charge the phone, plug it to the Bluetooth stereo system, everything like that. That's it. And again, I, I just I, it's remarkable how much they fit onto this platform. This is. Maybe not the widest boat, but it's very space efficient and they really maximize the whole floor plan. Yeah, the engineers at Quest have really done a great job of figuring out how to maximize that square footage. You know, these aren't huge, but it's as comfortable as your living room built into a 8 by 18 platform. They've really done a great job. Yeah, that's it. Really slick boat. Again, that uh, new design on the backs of these seats, uh, this honeycomb right there. Just a really nice design element that uh, really makes these boats pop. And finally, one last new piece of technology that we're seeing is a wireless charging station for your cell phone. So the driver can throw his cell phone right in this little pocket and it will charge itself as the boat goes down the lake. So already charging that quick and easy. All right, that's awesome. So most people do use their Bluetooth systems while they're out on the lake cruising so they can connect their phone, have the radio play, and the phone charge for them while they're here. All right. So very cool. That's awesome. Let's move over now. We're going to go look at some of our StarCraft boats. In this StarCraft pontoon, this is our EX-20R. And tell me a little bit more about this boat. So the EX-20R is our most popular model here at Charles Mill Marine. We sell a lot of these, and it's easy to see why. It's 20 foot long, it's eight and a half wide, it's spacious. It's a boat that works well for everyone. Um, big family, small family. 9, 9 150 horsepower and literally everyone in between so that's right let's we'll take a peek at what really makes this boat stick out uh, the black rail package with the silver panels just a super slick and clean look for this boat uh, we also have the power bimini here so again push button it opens right up and right here's where it matters so whether you have 10 people on the boat or just two easy conversation piece across here one another we also have StarCraft's brand new table, which again, very sturdy, sleek look, very clean. Yeah, that's one thing I've really noticed is that you, know, you see this table, it's very, very solid. You see a lot of these tables in the industry that are maybe a softer, lighter plastic, and they get chipped, they get thin. This is really, really solid. So we really like this table here that StarCraft builds. Yeah. And another thing, we have the recessed cup holders on the StarCraft Sun Chaser models. A really nice way to keep your drink out of the sun and well, it won't get tipped over in there either. So those are right down in there. This boat actually has 12 cup holders, so That's there's, amazing. you can only fit 10 people, but in case anyone needs two cans at a time. I might need, like, it. the way I'm sitting here, I might have six cans I could actually fit there at any one time. So that's, that's kind of a nice little feature. Yeah, that it is. So, and then this fiberglass helm, that's the last thing I noticed on this, is just, it's a really well-built helm. It is. It's, I think sometimes you can overdo a helm. This is clean looking. It's very sleek. It's modern. Has a nice little bit of pattern here, but it doesn't overdo it with gauges that don't really matter to most boaters. That's right. Yeah. No, this gives you what you need and nothing you don't. That, that's it. Um, we have another one right next to it that is actually the very same boat. So if you like the wave blue and the silver a little better, we're not going to spend much time on it, but a very similar boat. And if you like the wave blue a little better, maybe the option for you as well. Yeah. Really nice option there. And then, Mike, we're going to take a look last here at our newest line of boats. And this is a line of boats that uh, we're actually building right here at Charles Mill Marina. Uh, so this, uh, tell us a little bit about what we've got going on with this last boat that we see down here and uh, what we can expect. So as you've looked through, our show is probably not as full as we would have hoped it to be at this time of year. Even though our manufacturers have done just a wonderful job of getting us pro product, and we're very appreciative of it. We found that we needed a true price point boat for consumers who maybe don't want to spend as much money as it takes to have a StarCraft or a Quest. So we created our own line of boats, the Pleasure Isle, which have been made here by our local uh, builders. And we're really happy with how the end product turned out. Yeah, and so every winter, our team will rebuild about 20 to 30 pontoon boats. So when we talk about rebuilding, we're talking about taking old boats taking the old decks, all the old furniture off, putting down new decks, putting new furniture down. So the only difference is these are all new tubes. These are all new cross members. So this is a brand new boat and the tube's up. And really we've done an awesome job of filling this thing up. Let's go up and uh, have a look on this. It. Uh, it's a really spacious boat. Yeah, so what I want to tell folks is from the floor down, 
it is really every bit as nice and as well made as any other boat in the show. That's right. So the tubes, cross members are 25 inch tubes. They carry a really nice capacity. Um, so a lot to like. We have the woven vinyl flooring here down just like you'd see on all the other new boats. Yeah, I feel like this boat's a little bit of a throwback. And it, you expect the floor space that you see. Again, we're leaving a lot of space here for people to bring their own coolers and bring their own things. So if you've got a lot of stuff, if you're one of those people who kind of brings the entire half the house out when you come boat, it's a great boat for you because you can fit a lot of stuff on this boat. Really, yeah, a lot of things to set up. Right, whether it's coolers, grills, it's all going to fit. And there's also this nice dual door setup that we don't see as much as we used to. That's right. So again, you and I have both been on the lake here for a long time. You a little longer than me even. But this is a throwback to earlier days where there was more space, less furniture, everything you need, but maybe not every bell and whistle otherwise. That's right. And one thing I also, I just really enjoy about this is the size of this bimini top. If you come back here and actually look at the amount of shade that this thing has, it covers just about half the boat. So it keeps a ton of shade back here in the very back. So a lot of people, maybe you're older, maybe you're really young, you don't want to be out in the sun all day, you can sit right back here. Again, tons of cup holders, have this really nice table here. This is just a really nice layout for us. You know, it's a great Charles Mill Lake boat. A lot of our inland lakes here in Ohio, this is an awesome option for this. Right, in terms of affordability, quality build, it really has everything that someone's gonna want, including a new Suzuki outboard on the back of it. That's right, yeah, and Suzuki makes a great motor, and it's something that we're really happy we picked up here in the last couple of years because it offers a little different price point from a Yamaha, right? Yamaha's industry renowned for having really, really top of the line motors. Suzuki also, they're right there with them, just a little bit lower price point, and that's something we've come to enjoy. It does. We're gonna price these boats with 9.9s, with 50s and with 90s, and with the 9.9s, we're gonna have a really, really competitive price point on a boat like this. What would you expect this boat to retail for? You know, trailer, just a boat and a motor. This boat with a 9.9 is gonna retail at 23,995 with a Suzuki 9.9, which is fuel injected and comes with a five-year warranty. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about that fuel injection on the 9.9. What makes that different than, say, a carbureted 9.9 that we'd have on a Yamaha? So the fuel injection on the 9.9 is one of my favorite pieces of the Suzuki 9.9. While I think the Yamaha may give you a little more performance in and out of the dock, the ease of starting these Suzuki 9.9s, and being in Ohio, you don't want to lose your boating season in October. You don't, you want to get out there in March. So you turn that key, it's turnkey ready, it starts right up and you take off and have fun. That's right, it's, yeah, nothing wrong with a carbureted motor. Pretty much every motor on our docks is that, but I think as we go forward, we're gonna see more of that EFI, that's electronic fuel injection, meaning that you're gonna be less likely to have bad gas issues. So just a lot of different things to consider uh, with a Suzuki. Right, a really positive uh, thing we're seeing from Suzuki with the electric fuel injection. So I'm with you there. Let's uh, step on down here and we're going to just wrap up and we'll uh, give a little information on what people can expect when they buy a boat from Charles Mill. So when you come to Charles Mill Marina, what are you going to get with every boat you buy? What we're expecting to give every customer is a super easy, carefree boating experience. We're going to price everything in up front. We're going to drop the boat in with everything you need to have fun and you're going to go. So we're going to start out with a safety package on every boat. That means the life jackets, the throw cushions, everything you're gonna to need to pass water inspection, gonna be on there. That's great. Um, we're not gonna charge you delivered anywhere in Ohio. When you say, hey, we're ready for our boat, we're gonna bring it to you. One of our experienced uh, drivers, and he's gonna go over the boat with you, show you how to run it. He's gonna make sure you're comfortable. Really important to know how to use your boat. He's gonna spend an hour with you. If you need a little more time, he's gonna take care of you. He's gonna take you out and make sure you're happy with the product. That's right, and, and one thing to keep in mind, if you're shopping for a boat, Make sure that you trust the person you're buying a boat from. And at Charles Mill Marina, we've been named the top 100 dealer in North America. And we were also recently awarded a five-star certification as a dealership, which means we're really adhering to the highest quality standards in our products and our services. Uh, we really go above and beyond for our customers to make sure that you have a great experience with your boat. Yeah, we're gonna take care of you from start to finish. That includes titling and registration here done in-house. So you're not gonna go up to the local courthouse, stand in line, wait for your title. It's going to come in the mail to you. The OH numbers come right on the side. Registration is going to be done. That's great. Well, 
We hope you enjoyed our walkthrough today for the showroom and really we're going to be here all weekend. So come on out and see us for our spring open house boat show. We'll be here nine to five today, Saturday, yep. and then we'll be here nine to three Sunday. We'll be back open on Monday, nine to five. If you'd like to have any questions, give us a call 419-368-5951. You can also visit our website, charlesmillmarina.com. We'll see you out here.